Yo, welcome back to the vlog, guys. Welcome back. Uh, this is not gonna be, like, in sequence. First, I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna go check out some old footage um, before quarantine. I'm gonna show you some new camera gear that I've got. Stick around to, like, later in the video to see this new camera gear that I'm gonna talk about. Just some other cool moments that have happened in between then and now. Right before quarantine, we got to visit Universal Studios for the first time ever. Getting to meet Transformers, all the cool stuff. I think we're gonna make this a family tradition. To the vlog, baby, you already know. Oh, hold up. Oh, there we go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. I just got back from jogging. First time jogging in I don't know how long. It was very much needed, though. Gave me some energy, got my mind, my gears rolling, my creative wheels spinning. Past week or two, I've been like burnt out, completely burnt out. I've been working my ass off trying to make videos and content in order to make my channel grow past the 100K mark. I'm at 98,000 subscribers. We're almost to 100K and I've been doing this for a while, man. And it's been tough. I've been working on getting to 100K for like two years straight. And I've really been kicking in overdrive the past few weeks and I burnt out. And I just have felt like doing absolutely nothing. I've hated most of the stuff I've been making, even though it's probably amazing. It's just the feeling of it is just not there. I haven't been on social media that much the past couple days. I haven't been editing anything. I haven't been trying to attack any projects at all. I've just been playing Call of Duty and chilling, reading, maybe some movies or TV shows, maybe a YouTube video here and there. But we're here. I'm feeling good today and I just got a pack and I want to show you what I got. Here we have some of the best products probably that I've seen online right for camera lenses. These are filters from Prism Lens Effects. Shout out to my homie Jacob Owens for uh, shooting this over to check out. First of all, look at the packaging. Very nice. They all have nice packaging. They have a tag spot in the back where you can write your name and info and slide it in there so people know that it's yours. This lens is freaking autofocusing crazy right now, so it's probably making mad noise. Here we go. The Diopter. I've been looking for one of these forever. eBay, Amazon, everywhere, never could find one. Now I have one, thanks to my homie Jacob. So that one is pretty freaking dope with the diopter. You can do all types of stuff with that. Let's see how this one looks. You see that? Oh, look at that green tint to it. That's dope. Very sharp, softer, dreamy, kind of like blowing the highlight look right there. Put this on real quick. It's got like a soft look. It does look kind of dreamy. That's fire. Now I got this filter right here. I don't know if I even need my Pro Mist anymore. This one looks pretty good. Let me try the other one. Okay, so this is the one that I was really excited about. This is like the light kaleidoscope one. Just look how cool this shit looks. But let's check this one out. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is fire. Bro, when I tell you how fire this is, Bro, look at that. 
Yo, this is insane right here. This is like, this is the future. For music videos, for freaking commercials, promos. This has got me so inspired. I wanna go make something now. Oh my God. I'm definitely using this in my next project, whatever it is, I'm using it. So I just got done cleaning up everything in here from last night, editing photos drunk with Wasi. Dope ass concept, had a great ass time doing it. Then we ran a live and we were just turned up doing crazy shit, it was fun. That was such a good time, man. I'm in here right now, I got my 120, I got this. Yo, so I forgot to talk about this sweater right here in the video last night, so I'm talking about it now in the vlog. This shit is fire. It's really nice, heavy duty quality, right? You look at it, let me see if I can show you what it looks like real quick. Oh shoot. Uh, dope. So it's like got this big, heavy, like oversized baggy look. Cuffs at the bottom, so it hangs over kind of with a roll. Got these big white drawstring. These are dope as hell to me. It's got a split right here, like a collar shirt. It's kind of dope. I like this, this vibe. This shit's fresh, right? McKenzie Menswear. Link down below. Yeah, link to their tw uh, IG. They send me shit all the time to create content with. The reason is I reached out to them like, yo, send me some stuff, I'll create. They were like, cool, let's do it. So now we've just been going back and forth. They send me clothes that I love. I love this shit. I don't just do it because because they pay me or just because it's free. I do it because this shit is dope. So I got mad pairs of jeans from them. Fire, very skinny, they fit my leg nice. As you can see, they got some designs on them, some ruggedness. This is my favorite part about these. You can zip them down and keep them wide over your shoe or you can zip them up a little bit, keep a little bit or all the way really tight to your ankle. I love this feature, right? We're talking about fashion right now because I fucking love fashion and there's gonna be more fashion on this channel. So hope that you like it. And these are dope as shit too with the holes and they say born center on them right there, which I really think is dope. And uh, again, they got the zippers down at the bottom. Lackenzie has mad stuff on their like website. I think there's a code down below too to get a percent off or something. You get a discount with my code, using my code. I can't remember what it is, but there's a discount down there. I'll put it down there. All right, my man's is teaching me Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks, yo. Bless. My man's is getting me. I was about to smash my computer because it wouldn't work. Every single time I push play, it would take 10 to 15 seconds before the clip started running. Every single time. So think about this. Maybe you hit the play and stop. you stop your clip, make it a change, hit play. You do that like hundreds of times in a project, right? So add 10 to 15 seconds to all those hundreds of times and look at how much time that adds on to your editing time and how much stress it adds on to your brain. So I brought it over here to see if it did it on his and guess what? Yo, 22 minutes ago, Dane Morley tweeted, <laughs> at Adobe Premiere is the biggest load of trash ever. Not a day goes by where I don't have problems. Oh my God. You see what I mean? I'm out. That is hilarious. He just showed me mad tricks and stuff to get started on Final Cut Pro X. I guess 10, right? So I'm coming over to the squad. I'm about to practice. I'm about to mess with it. I'm out. I've been using Premiere for a while. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm out. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day. I haven't finished picking out the winner still. Yesterday, I was trying to go through a bunch of comments. Still gotta go through a ton for the winner of the 100K camera gear. So we did announce that on Tuesday, which was yesterday on my Instagram. Coming soon, I'll let you know who wins that camera, T7i, all that stuff soon. But other than that, man, this video right here is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're not familiar with what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community where you can learn, discover, and explore new creative fields. And what better time right now than to do it because we're quarantined. Some people aren't, but majority of us are. And over the past few weeks, we have been. But what better time than to learn new things right now, like photography, like videography, like styling your space, like setting up your space, furniture-wise, interior design, graphic design, 
video editing, photo editing, all these things are on Skillshare right now. So one of my absolute favorites is video on a budget. Prepare your shoot without breaking the bank by Christopher Rhodes. Literally, it's as low as $10 a month. And if you click the link down below, the first thousand, 1,000 people that click that link down below get two months free. You don't even have to pay anything. You just sign up, you get an account free for two months, and you get to learn anything that you want, basically. Anything that's on the platform, and there's so much there. Personally, I think that you should never stop learning. Every day, you should strive to learn something new. So with Skillshare, that's the perfect way to do it. I promise you. Once again, thanks Skillshare for sponsoring this video and pushing me to get this video out because this was a vlog that I've been sitting on and due to the sponsor, it has to be out at a certain time. So they pushed me to get it out. Thank you, Skillshare. Moving on. So about the new gear I was talking about in the beginning of this video is one piece is right here. This stupid big arm for my mic. I absolutely thought I would love it, but now I think I absolutely hate it. It's not the best. It's kind of cheap. I probably should get another brand, but for now, I think I'm going to take this off and put it back on the desk stand. I thought this was going to just be cool, like on my desk. It's very annoying. Hate it. I don't want it. Another new piece of gear is this L bracket right here. I probably can't see it. It's focused on my face. It's got mounting plates all over it. So you can mount your camera on here and then turn it vertical, mount it on your Ronin S. That's why I got it. So I can mount my camera vertical on the Ronin S and get better fitting shots for like uh, social media stuff. So when you're viewing stuff on your phone, you want it to be vertical because it's huge. You can see it takes up most of the screen and it's just big. You can't pass it. Vertical videos are like in right now. So yeah, that's why I got this L bracket. Mount the EOS R on it turn it up so it's vertical and shoot stuff even on the Ronin handheld whatever pretty cool look into it I'll link it below another cool piece of gear is this handle it's from small rig it's like a handle here is a mounting plate where you can put the Ronin s onto it and then you can hold it with two hands on top of this is a place where you can mount a mic you can mount a monitor anything up here and then you've got two uh, points of contact basically your Ronin would mount here now you have two points of contact and you can like, it's just it's just better on your body rather than doing this all day one hand or this little stupid thing. I don't know, it just feels better like boom. You got two, it's more solid. I like this and then you can put your monitor here if you want to connect a monitor to your camera. Super cool, man. I just like this a lot. So this is a good cop. I'll link this down below as well. One more thing. And last but not least is this. Got the Mavic, DJI Mavic Air 2. Um, the size of it, really nice. I just flew it two times yesterday and the day before that. Looks really good, really easy to fly. I like the fact that it's not that big. Like, I own the Mavic 2 Pro and I found myself never pulling it out because it was just oversized to me, overkill. I don't know, For some, some people might disagree with that. I feel like smaller items are easier to pull out and just more convenient to use. So I'm glad that I got this. I really love the Mavic Air. That was like my favorite drone ever. This new guy, this Air 2 is just perfect. It's got the same shape as the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, it's got really good quality, really high megapixels, small, convenient, everything that you would want, man. You just fold it up, throw it in your backpack, and get some shots if you need, take it with you, whatever, and you put it in your pocket. Even if you wanted to, it's not that big of a deal. It's not too huge, you feel me? So you can just walk outside like that. But um, yeah, that's another piece of gear. Actually, that's all. I'm gonna make a new video, 2020 camera bag stuff. That's definitely necessary right now but that's gonna be it man i'll see you guys in the next video